Walker. I am 16 years old. I am the son of Yvonne Walker, neighborhood watch coordinator in my community. I have a voice. Tray Trayvon Benjamin Martin died at the hands of an evil man with a gun. A man who later walked free. Trayvon's killer in an effort Trayvon's killer apparently only saw this tall, black-skinned boy who looks suspicious wearing a hoodie. I'm not here to debate the killer's alibi, only to tell the truth. Today, my name is Trayvon Benjamin Martin. Every day, I wake up every day without the fear of either being late or not being able to go where there is excitement and fun. It never crossed my mind that I'm automatically seen as a threat. My mom always told me that an intelligent black male is sometimes seen as a threat to ignorance. But well, whoever thought that innocence had a color? Um, one second. Um, I, uh, have to... Is it all right if I uh, read off? Of yeah. I guess if my skin was like Edward's and my clothes like Johnny's, then maybe I could just be a citizen taking a stroll in a nice neighborhood. In my opinion, racial profiling and discrimination is modern slavery. Blacks, as well as other minorities, are measured against those who view themselves as better or ideal. A unique twist on the basic understanding that all modern humans are equally capable regardless of skin color. You could say that the Nazis could fit in well with racial America. I mean, if you want one of us gone, who says you don't want to eliminate the rest? I want to be a successful lawyer um, in a private law firm. I want to be able to help all people, but will I live long enough for this to happen? If I am able, I only want—I won't only be helping blacks, but whoever needs help. But when screaming for help isn't enough, how can I help myself? Our brother, son, grandson, died three years ago, was murdered three years ago with a bag of Skittles and an Arizona iced tea in his hand. Was he going to use the taste of the rainbow to blow up suburban homes and flood the area with his favorite drink? Emmett Till's murder could have happened yesterday. Sometimes I wonder if American freedom applies to me. Sorry. Maybe Trayvon's murder would show young black men like myself our worth in racial America.
decided to walk in the courtroom, my face and skin would be enough to change the decision of a jury. Do we now have to wear t-shirts all year and keep our eyes closed while we talk on the cell phone? If we can get to a point where respect for human life dictates our everyday choices, then maybe we can be ourselves. We need to let, get, we need to let go of this thing we call hate. We are worried about bettering American communities and schools when American families are still teaching hate. We are brothers and sisters, maybe competitors, but not enemies. We shouldn't put each other down, but offer a helping hand. If we cannot get to a point where unity is a priority, how can we succeed in solving the problems of our communities and our country? Thank you.